All right, guys, welcome to yet another episode of Kicking It With Manny. Today's episode, I am super stoked about it, and it is about love languages that you should never ignore. A lot of relationships do not have conversations when it comes to this specific love languages, and I want to elaborate on it. I want to share them with you so that you can use that to improve your relationship. If you're new here and you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for more episodes like this. If you enjoy the content, if it brings some value, remember to hit the like button, drop a comment below, let me know your thoughts, and let's dive into today's episode. Relationships that we get into, there are specific love languages that we as individuals have and what we prefer when we are with someone. A lot of us, especially with men, people classify us as physical people. So we look for either uh, physical touch or words of affirmation or act of services, whatever it is that our specific language is when it comes to our love, we should be able to do a little bit more than those specific love languages. And there are practical ways for you to make this happen in your own relationship. It doesn't matter if you don't know this, it is okay because we are human, we are learning every single day and most of the times we go into relationships without doing certain things. Like maybe we didn't know about it before, which is okay, but when you are in a relationship with a person or with with someone you should be able to think about certain things past what they look like or what they give you or what you can benefit from them we should go into the relationship to learn certain things and apply certain things for the relationship to be exciting to be entertaining to be happy for us to be able to live and be in that relationship long term a lot of men and women go into a relationship and sometimes you ask yourself why is he or she not thinking about these things like why do they not think about being able to support my dreams why are they in a selfish place sometimes that's the question we have with ourselves and this can be due to the fact that that person may not know about it. That person may not be aware. That person did not have that experience before and all of this is new to them or they are not exposed to this. And physical touch in a relationship is great. Words of affirmation is great. That is those basic love languages that we know. There are specific love languages that we are not applying in the relationship. It's like we are not doing them. And one of the things that a lot of people do not realize is that sharing music together is a love language. Being able to learn about his culture, being able to learn how to make his favorite food or her favorite food, being able to support the things that she is excited about is also another love language. This may fall under many different love language categories, but we have to be able to apply these things on a day-to-day -day basis if we want the relationship to, to work. And when you share things with each other, even if it's something that you are not used to, if your partner has certain things she enjoys, and she is sharing them with you. What you can do to show interest or what you can do to show excitement is not just say, oh, okay, I had it. Okay, that's fine. You have to take it to the next level for that person to feel like, oh, he, he enjoys that. He's excited about this. Like he, he, he learned how to do this for me and I only talked about it one time. There are key things in the relationship that we should, we, we should use that as opportunity to learn about the person that we are with or the person that we want to be with. Relationship is, is work. Relationship is support system. Relationship is understanding. Relationship is communication. 
there is so much more to a relationship than a physical aspect of it. The physical is good. Having great intimacy, great stimulation, great sex, all these things are great factors that makes a relationship great. But there are deeper things that makes a relationship even better. And these are the things that we are not doing. Because I remember in my past, I could share certain things that I enjoy, like music, certain type of music, or certain type of artists. And the other person that I am with randomly will throw this playlist to me, and I'm like, oh, okay, okay. And it's excite me right away because I feel like that person has showed interest past just me talking about it. This is a love language. See, a lot of men have certain things they pride themselves of. They, are, they have certain things they enjoy. If you just can take some time and enjoy that with him without feeling like it's a, a chore or it's, a, it's, it's an obligation, this makes him feel supported. This makes him feel like this person is like we share things like I they care more about me. And it is it is, it is sad that in this day and age we live in a very in a kind of a selfish society where everybody is about them, them, them. They don't think about the person that they are with. And these things are very simple things. Like for me, for example. I love to dance. I love to have a good time. So if I am with someone and they share those things with me, I get excited about it because it's something I enjoy and I feel like we are making great memories when this person is part of it or when this person shares it with me. And you don't necessarily need to know how to do all of it. This is the same way with, with, with women. Let's say she enjoys pedicure or she enjoys all going on s simple walks or she enjoys spending time in the gym. If you are not a gym person or you're not a gym rat, you can show an extra level of interest by doing it with her. By doing that, you are creating memories together. You guys are bonding. You guys are sharing experiences. Even if it's a, something competitive, you guys can still enjoy that together. This is a love language too. When you have all these things, this effort being showed, this um, support system being given to each other, it creates a whole team. It's like you guys enjoy different things. You guys are coming from a different background, a different country, a different culture, but you have these similar things that you have developed interest in. Having that is great. It's, it's amazing how much certain relationships that we look up to they share things that sometimes you just are like it feels like they are the same people like she does the same thing that he does but sometimes it took them some time to learn it took them time to grow it took them time to be unselfish a little bit and just enjoy that person's passion with them you are human it doesn't matter what it is that you are uncomfortable with. If she likes it, jump on it with her. If you are not a video game person or a board game person or a wine tasting person, whatever it is that her interest is or his interest is, you can do those things together and don't just do it like it's a responsibility or an obligation. Do it like you enjoy it and enjoy it. It's, it's crazy how these small details can go a long way. How these specific things can have so much impact on a relationship. And if you find someone who can share these things, who is open to learn, that is why having an open mind is a great factor in the relationship. Simple, simple things like sharing meals together, being open to learning about their language, being open to be close to them in a certain way, whatever they are passionate about, supporting that with all enthusiasm and with all excitement, this makes that person feel happy. They will love you. There are some relationships where you have a great physical chemistry, but 
you don't have a good communication. When that happens, the relationship is eventually going to struggle. You may want each other physically, but when it comes to the mental stimulation, when it comes to talking something deeper past the physical aspect of things, there is no connection. Love languages comes in so many different ways. So guys, you may be in a relationship with someone. You may be dating a girl or you may be dating a guy. Look and observe things that they are excited about. Things that makes them feel like alive when they start talking about it. And learn these things, even if you don't know about it. Even if you don't have no knowledge. Even if, if you don't have no interest. Learn something about it and impress them. You are not, you are not doing anything wrong by showing extra level of interest. This can help a relationship grow. This will help that relationship to blossom amazingly. You are not going to lose anything if you show interest in the person that you want to be in a relationship with. And this is not just someone you are spending time with or you have friends with benefit with. It is a lot more because you are more invested emotionally. You can decide to not care about someone you're just having a little fling with. It's okay. But if you get to that relationship level and if you feel like you guys are dating and going somewhere and have a source of purpose and direction for that dating to grow, learning these specific things about them can help you have a good relationship with them. These are the simple love language love language clues or cues that you should be thinking about, you should be applying, you should be um, wanting to do when you are in a relationship, even if you are dating someone. So today I wanted to share this with you guys because I know that for me as a man and a lot of men out there, if women show interest in things that they are into, it excites them. And this especially goes for cultural relationships. If he is he enjoys a, spe a specific food and he he talks about it constantly go behind his back learn the recipe and prepare it for him even if you are not good at it if he enjoys certain type of music go behind him look for look up that music look up the artists and look up some music that are, are they have in common and share that randomly with him if he enjoys playing soccer or playing uh, basketball or whatever it is there are so many things that your partner likes and this goes vice versa the guys need to do this and the ladies need to do this because that dating or that relationship is supposed to be teamwork and your relationship will blossom, I promise you. Your relationship will grow when you start doing these things. And they can be simple things. Just listen to them more. Pay attention to the things they are passionate about. And go outside of your way to do more to make them feel like you care. I hope this episode brought some value, guys. I hope you enjoyed everything talked about. I know it's a very short one, but... I wanted to have an open conversation and share these things that I have learned about with my own relationship with myself and relationship that in the future I would like to build or relationship that friends and family have shared with me. And I took something from that so that I can share with you so you guys can gain some value. If you enjoy this, guys, and you are new here, again, I appreciate the support. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the like button if you enjoy this episode and Turn on notifications so that whenever I drop any new episode, you'll be notified and be able to watch it and gain some value. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I appreciate you, and I will see you in the next episode.